Hello and good morning. Welcome to my video conference about dealing with muscular dystrophy. At the time you view this, I will be 40 years old. I live in Salem, New Hampshire, the United States, and this video is about my attitude in dealing with this disease. When any of us have a chronic illness, there's going to be times when we feel down and times when we feel up. The whole point is to maximize the times we feel up and enjoy those times and try to minimize the times we feel down. It's all about fighting. It's all about going through roadblocks. If you can't go through the roadblock, you go over it. If you can't go over it, go under it. If you can't go under it, go around it. Find a way to make things happen. In America, we have many great laws that help us to take down the barriers. But many of the barriers of disability have to be taken down personally. And how others view us, and how we view the world, and how we are helped, and how we help. I believe that life turns out the best for the people that make the best of the way life turns out. That quote is not mine. That quote is from a famous basketball coach here in America. But it's definitely words to live by. Please enjoy this video. I'm sorry I can't be there with you all live, but this video gives you a little bit of a window into my daily life. And I will continue to fight and show this disease and other chronic illnesses in a positive light. You can grow up, you can have a job, you can have a relationship, you can do anything that you want to do. First, you have to stop believing in people that tell you you can't. The glass might not be all the way full, it might only be half. As one of my friends over in Israel has told me, if there are only a few drops in the glass, enjoy those few drops. Enjoy this day. I hope you are enjoying your meeting. Please feel free to keep in touch. I'm sorry I can't be with you now, but I'm hoping to come over and visit all of you this coming summer and seeing your wonderful country. Thank you, and enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello, I am in my 2009 Chrysler and I am here to show you the hand controls. It's another way that I stay moving. And I'm actually driving, so I'm going to be looking all around. The steering is one joystick. I'm now turning left, so I turn the joystick instead of the wheel. And the other joystick on the side near my window is the gas and the brake. I'm going to pull back on this handle. Okay, it's the window. I'm going to blow the hole. My friend Mark out there, former fellow teacher, I'm at chapter school and I'm cruising home. This is my route. And right now I'm going on about 50 kilometers. And uh, it's all hand controls. And so I don't have to worry about using my feet. The power chair that I currently use snaps down to the floor in a system called Easy Lock. And it is completely safe, even if I was to tip the van over. The chair would be hanging from the floor and can't come detached. So I have a chest strap that I wear when I drive, as well as the seat belt of the car. And this allows me to remain moving, and it allows me ease to drive. This thing has been a great asset, and it's another way that I stay mobile. Hi, everybody. This is the Hippocamp wheelchair. The Hippocamp is made by our friends in France and it is an all-terrain manual chair that goes in water, on sand, through trails, on snow, and we've been hiking with it today. I'm in a state park in Massachusetts and pretty far into the woods with a beautiful view of everything around me as well as the, uh, the grounds of this state park, Maudsley State Park it's called, and the Hippocamp makes this possible. Uh, because it goes, like I said, all terrain. It's a beautiful view there out there of the Merrimack River. So this is another uh, chair 
private pay that I'm able to use to stay mobile. Um, in American dollars, unfortunately, it's about 3000 but it's well worth it because it goes everywhere. So it's another way to stay moving. How does muscular dystrophy affect Mr. Motion's teaching? Well, it doesn't really affect his teaching that much. Really, you just got to help him out more. Like, if he drops papers, you pick it up on him. But, uh, like, the first day, the first week you're in band class with him, you notice that he's in a wheelchair, but after that, he's just a normal teacher. Motion really isn't anything more than just one of my favorite teachers to me anymore, because I see him so much that I'm just, I'm used to it. And he tells us not to feel bad for him, because, yeah, I think he's pretty happy with his life. Um, he can still do, like, pretty much anything he wants to, but, you know, he can't bend down, but I, I think I noticed more that he was in a wheelchair the first time I met him, but now it's like, oh, okay. <laughs>
probably a lot of you that are familiar with the world of muscular dystrophy understand the need for bathroom lifts and things like that. So I have a bench and I have a sling, which I'll show you in a moment, and I roll into the shower and uh, I'm able to take care of business in there. And over here on the ceiling we have a track lift, which uh, actually this technology is from Canada. And we installed, a, I had a track installed. This mostly is not covered by insurance because they want you to get a Hoyer lift, but I saved up some money and did this because I think this is much easier. I get a sling, which I'll show you in a minute, and then it hooks onto the lift, and the lift literally can move a person with one finger. So we'll pause now and I'll get into that and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now I'm uh, strapped up inside the lift. Uh, this lift is actually called the V3 lift, and again, it's from Canada, and I can post up information about how I got it. Uh, for those of you that can no longer transfer, which is now me, this lift comes in handy. I use it every morning before I get ready to work, and it allows me to uh, go on the toilet, and the track goes around so I can go from the toilet directly to the shower. Obviously, you could do this throughout the home, but that's a lot of money. Um, I have about I don't know, just a few, few feet of track in the bedroom and in here, plus the lift, and everything that I put in for American dollars was about $6,500. So this stuff's not cheap, but it definitely, definitely helps. So uh, Vanessa's filming right now, and she's going to show you how the lift works. For those of you that haven't seen it, uh, it's on a, a wired remote, and as you press, I'm going to go up, and this is weight tested for 500 pounds. That's a lot of kilos. And I, I just go up along with the straps, and then as I get to the height, that's good. So then you just pull on one of the straps, and again, you can actually do it pretty easy with one hand. Um, I'm very light, so I guess if you want to reach in and sure. pull me, or you can pull the straps. So just glide along the track, and then uh, walk me down on the toilet to do my business. Or just leave me here spinning like a sack of meat in the uh, butcher's freezer. And when I'm feeling silly, I can actually go to the bathroom from two feet up. But well, I don't do that. So that's how, that's how the lift works. So uh, here we are, just hanging right at my house in New Hampshire. So I stay mobile by the lift, my home design, uh, you see in my car, and also uh, you've heard some interviews with some of my kids. That's pretty much how I stay moving. All of it leads back to one final thing, which I can spin around and give my final message. With all this stuff in my life, I make sure the muscular dystrophy is not winning. I am. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh.